Choke no joke. Yeah. You know what Choke it no is. Choke no joke. You know what it is. Let's go, let's go. 2020, rich niggas, money funny. We got killer bees and I lost my honey. My little sex master, yeah, she was a distraction. To my mathematics, then Corona happened. The government capping on what's really happening. Rock Nation signing niggas that's out here ratting. And Jay's the captain of the ship? Ain't this a bitch you keep his sign and snitch? We lost Andre and Rich, life's a bitch Can't have a funeral, no matter if you rich or poor Overpopulated at morgues Funeral homes, bodies all on the floor No food and stores, no me no more These the last days if you never prayed Have faith, all sort of illicit days Yo, it's tough when you see Puff rock a hoodie with his baby mama hanging from a cross, you lost. Damn, you told the CEO on the gram he was a handsome man. Oh. That's sexual harassment in front of millions of fans. You made foul on the scram like Sunday Letitia. Joseph don't leave, Mary and Jesus. Sags, self pleasing, some sneak thieves. If we were kids, you call them flat leavers. They use you, don't need you. It's birth you, they see ya. Cross you, then be ya, curve you and flee ya Niggas wanna be you, until they see you They idolize you, like you in the case Nigga, you know who got punched in the face In the A on stage, or any place A nigga like me, never retire like Mace And don't even care if the church is the escape Last real nigga alive, amongst your face Y'all big bad, no frost in the my face Come out, Epstein flight log is out uh -huh. And tell us, what that spirit cooking about? Head to head with a satanist and niggas in doubt homies. The power of the dark side block me out That's why I'm blacking, get it in any sport trick Everyone That's why up. you the non-factor 6 9 keep acting, yeah. like you ain't acting yeah. You wasn't flagging, <laughs> in the court yapping That tough guy on the gram was just blabbing I'm the king of New York, at y'all niggas I'm laughing Magic Plaza Yo, yo, yo Magic Plaza It's the king of New York Choke no joke We here now You know what it is Eden Wall, stand up Choke no joke, Chiggy choke no joke. Choke no joke, Chiggy choke no joke. We here now, my man PJ Allen in a building. Sandra Love, what's up, boo? How you doing, love? Rob Dawson in the building, the Black King in the building, Indy Claire in the building, Novus Peace in the building, Angel in the building, Sean Williams. Rob Dawson, burn account, burn account. What up? What up? All right. Cartier County. All right. Angel Dickinson. Delilah, my baby. How you doing? All right. Rob Dawson, I said that. Rob, you in here heavy. Mike Miggity, fly man hits. What up? Can't knock the hustle. Don't knock the hustle, man. Don't hate on the hustle. WMD in the building. All right, Desiree in the building. We in here, Kenneth. Shout out to Kenneth Hawkins. Chokester in the building. Relevant music. Juanita, I got the burps. The... Shout out to all y'all in the building. Appreciate y'all. Patrick Smith just stepped in. Keyshawn just stepped in, New Haven, Connecticut. I will be in Connecticut next week. All right? Me and Potatoes in the building. Blue, a.k.a. Bella. I wish I did know about that. I would have popped up to that event. They probably wouldn't have let me in anyway. They'd be like, excuse me, sir. Can, can we, we talk to you outside, please?
Come on in, come on in. Sipping me on a little drinky drink tonight. Cause I'm about to smoke these foes here. You heard me, cuz. He about to get that work, cuz. They over there subbing me. They just trying to get me to respond to certain stuff that they subbing me with. But I'm not going to even, uh, I'm not going to respond. I'm not going to uh, address it. I know who uh, Beyonce be talking to when she do them little posts with them little subs in it. They trying to get me to give them free publicity. God damn, shorty. Who is this? How did I wind up following her? Shorty thick ums. Mm. Y'all want to see thick ums? Oh, let me see. What's her name? How did I start following this girl? I don't know. I must have seen one of these good pictures because Jesus, Lord have mercy, boy. That's what you call thick. Thicker than a snicker. Ooh, shorty. Hey. What your name is? She's a thick one. That's what I don't like about Instagram. This shit is a distraction. And see, this is what I like about this girl. This is why I was following her, because this is how she looked regular. Ain't that a beauty? See how she dressed? Like a grown ass woman, a grown ass woman. But when she hit that beach, boy, that's how y'all women gotta look. See, she got body. But when she out in the public, look how she look. With all that body. Damn, she thicker than a motherfucker. Woo! Lord have mercy. Jesus Christ. Damn, shorty. Sheesh. Fellas. Oh, ladies. You know, you ladies. Y'all like them too now. Look at this. Ooh, girl. Mm -mm -mm. She know how to pick some lingerie. Now, nah, that's enough free promo for a shorty. But I like her like this more than those uh, half dress joints. I love women when they dress up like that. Shout out to the beautiful black women out there, beautiful white women out there, the beautiful Latino women out there, the beautiful Mexican women out there. Shout out to all y'all all, all right? Shout out to the beautiful African women out there, the Guyanese, the Haitians, all y'all women, all y'all women. So, who I want to start with, Jay-Z or Beyonce?
I'll let y'all call it. The first three I see. Should I start with Jay-Z or Beyonce on this one? Because they both going to be very interesting. I see one J. Two J's. All right, J it is. I got three J's. That's it. Let's get to it. Now, if you haven't been paying attention, Jay-Z just had an event in Brooklyn at the museum called the Book of Hove. Now, I don't know this for a fact because I wasn't paying too much attention. I've been working hard as a mother effer. But I heard that Nas was getting ready to release something yesterday. And he put it out there. So I don't know if Jay tried to drop on Nas day to get, because I heard Nas was dropping something yesterday. Then he changed his mind and pushed it back. Right? I think he put it out there this time just to see if Jay was going to try to release something on his release date. And he, he it was a pump fake. Nas baited him, and he came out with this whole book of whole shit. Now, he's really feeling himself to come name this event the book of whole. Off of that one little God did verse and that one little thing's book of hove and everybody, oh, 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 niggas out there started eating sausages, you know, because of that long ass verse, right? But as you can see, my God did join this better than uh, they God did join. Mine's make more of an impact, as you can see. Right, so um, they go and call this shit the Book of Hope. Hold on, matter of fact, my bad. I ain't turn my Instagram on. One second, y'all. Choke No Joke, I'm live on YouTube. I'm live on ChokeNoJokeProductions.com. All right? Go to my website, ChokeNoJokeProductions.com. I'm live right now. Live on YouTube, live on Instagram. Y'all already know. I right? hit the link in my bio. If you're on, uh, if you're on Instagram, you want to see us over here at YouTube. All right? You see it, right? We up here on YouTube. All right? So, um. Donna, what up, baby? Dehaven, what up? Oh, you're going to enjoy this one, Dehaven. <laughs> so, this book of whole bullshit. Let me, let me give y'all a backstory for a second. 
Jay-Z is a selfish mother effer. All right, I'm going to try not to curse. All right? Fatherhood, what up? All right? Drina, what's that? Is that Drina? Yes, Drina. What up, Drina? How you doing, sugar? Right? So this nigga, Jay-Z, is a selfish individual. Okay? This nigga is a selfish individual. Now, here we are. And celebrating the 50 years of hip-hop, right? I don't know if y'all been paying attention, but you see the Grammys 50-year hip-hop did not have Jay-Z. I don't know if they probably asked him. He was like, nah, he too big for that to perform with all these other niggas. But not, did, not only did the, the Grammys 50th anniversary of hip-hop tribute did not have Jay-Z. It had nobody from Rockefeller. 50 years of hip-hop, Rockefeller is one of the prominent labels in hip-hop, and nobody from Rockefeller was on the 50th anniversaries of the Grammys, the Grammys tribute to 50 years of hip-hop. Now, Kanye, not Beanie Siegel, not the Young Guns, not nobody, not Jay-Z, nobody, not Bleak, nobody, nobody, nobody from Rockefeller was on the Grammy stage for 50 years of hip hop, right? I don't even think they might, they might not even have nobody from Cash Money. I don't remember. Did Lil Wayne come out? I think Lil Wayne came out. All right. Um, BET Awards. They also did a tribute for hip hop, 50 years of anniversary, which the anniversary really starts next month. August is the date, actual, is when the, the anniversary date is in August next month. BET did not have, did not have Jay-Z come out and perform. And nobody from Rockefeller. Nobody from Rockefeller at BET. Nobody from Cash Money at BET. Disrespectful. Now, I'm going to tell you why nobody was at BET for Rockefeller. Dame already told y'all. They all suck off Jay-Z at BET. You know what I'm saying? So they not going to piss Jay off by letting anybody from Rockefeller come up there and perform in, in the tribute. Only person they fuck with is Freeway. You know what I'm saying? And everybody fuck with Freeway. And, you know, Freeway went through a lot of health issues. He lost two kids. So a, a lot of people are more sympathetic to Freeway than anybody else because he, 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 he has so many traumatizing events in the last five years of his life that they ain't gonna shit on Freeway. They ain't gonna give him the big stage. They'll let they'll give him a bone, but they ain't gonna give him a bone with no meat on it. You know what I'm saying? So now here's the 50th uh 50th anniversary of hip hop. And instead of Jay seeing that the Grammys ain't representing Rockefeller as a whole, as a label, Dame can't say Rockefeller. Dame can't do nothing Rockefeller. Jay-Z made Dame sign something to where Jay, when they split, that Dame can't use rock nothing. He can't use the word rock at all. But Jay can make rock, rock Nation. He stole Dame shit, Team Rock. I, I came up with Team Rock. I came up with Team Rock. Team Rock was supposed to be a men's athletic, no, a men's, yeah, a men's athletic line 
that you would go to like Models and you could go get you some some gym shorts if you get ready to go ball, like tank tops, all sports apparel. That's what it was. I brought it to George Robles. I said, yo, y'all should create a sports apparel line called Team Rock and make it all like shit that goes in Walmart where niggas need to go, they get ready to go ball, niggas go get some shorts. And this way it will never play out. Just make it a brand like that. He go tell Dame, Dame liked the idea. Dame create a foundation from it. And then they create an urban line, Team Rock, which wasn't my vision. It was just only supposed to be sports apparel shit. They made sweatsuits and all this other shit, but they fucked it up. Anyway, Jay fucked the whole shit up by stealing the company from Dame anyway. You know, convincing him to sign off, making him thinking that he was going to retire. But anyways, this nigga got, he got Team Rock. That was Jay, that, that was Dame's thing. Jay had nothing to do with no goddamn Team Rock. So now he got Team Rock. He got Rock Nation. He owned Rockefeller. But Dame can't even use the word rock in nothing. Jay put that shit in the contract. Snake ass nigga. So now, here we go. It's the 50th anniversary of hip hop. It's so many of us that was down at Rockefeller. And nobody's getting no light. Nobody's getting no, no, uh, Nobody's getting calls to be a part of shit because of Jay-Z. This is why Beanie Siegel ain't getting no call to come out at the BET Awards. It's all that nigga. Whether he told them no or just because they sucking his nuts off and don't want to piss him off by bringing anybody up there that he don't fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Here we are, the 50th anniversary, right? And this selfish ass nigga talking about the fucking book of hove. Just you. Not everybody at Rockefeller. The book of hove. Well, the book of hove got a lot of pages. There's a young Chris page in there. There's a Beanie Siegel page in there. There's an old Skino page in there. There's a PD Crack page in there. There's a Omilio Sparks. Give it to me. You stole this. He gave you that hook. There's a Mill page in there. There's a Christian page in there. There's a Memphis Bleak page in there. There's a rail page in there. It ain't all about you. Niggas helped you, bro. And you go do this whole museum event. And then I'm looking at the images. Nigga, you don't cut everybody out of the story. I don't see no pictures of Beans. I don't see no pictures of Dane. I don't see no pictures of Biggs. I don't see no pictures. Like... Bro, staff members, I don't see no goddamn pictures of Jazzo. Now, I ain't get to go in the museum around the whole event. I'm just looking from the videos that I show. So, and let me just run this uh real quick. Shout out to my man, Johnny Nunez. I got this off his Instagram. I'm using this under fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 under Copyright Act 1976 allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by the copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips to balance in favor of fair use. Now, let me show y'all this.
Now, just walking in, right? Just walking in, like, yo, who are these people, right? Ain't nobody that y'all recognize in this joint, right? Check it out. Thing is acting up over here. Oh, there we go. Let me try that again. that I just do. Look at these images with me, right? Check this out. Look at these images. Right? Him and Nelson Mandela. Him and Barack Obama. Him by himself. That's the 99 problems. Crowd shots. Bring this over here so y'all can see this. Look, look at all these shots, right? All of him. He strategically got all the shots in him. Like, now I know this is the book of Hove is about him, but remember, there's a lot of motherfuckers that contributed to this motherfucking nappy headed nigga's success. Okay? Look. That's my shot. Where? Okay. Now, now I can relax knowing that some of my photos is in there. Yeah. 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 Then we're, 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 now look at this nigga. Oh, this nigga ain't got nothing to do with Rockefeller. He wasn't around, but it's cool. He's a DJ. He's been around with his fake ass beard. Nigga, this nigga got shoe polish in his beard. I, oh, shit. Oh, okay. Look at these niggas with they fake ass beard. Niggas be like, yo, choke, you got to dye your shit gray. You got to dye your shit black. No, I don't. I ain't going to be running around here looking like no cartoon character in the face like these niggas. 
No, I'm not. I'm sorry. Maybe if I'm in a movie or some shit and they tell me I got to do it, but I'm not running around here acting like I ain't got no gray in my fucking face trying to look young and be old three days later. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Boom. Look at Wedge, y'all. That's Wedge right there. The nigga Steve Stout. You see that? He still, after he got rid of Dane, you heard Un, right? Look at these niggas. He's still over there with Jay. And that was Nas, man. You got to watch these niggas. You got to watch these niggas. This was Nas, man, right here. Now he over here with Jay. It's Nas, man, though. That's your man Wedge. He split rocks. All right? He split up the rock. That's your man Wedge right there. Steve Stout. Your man Wedge. Don't forget it. When you see him, call him Wedge. He'll know what you mean. Young Gotti. Yo Gotti. My bad. Once again, we had nothing to do with fucking Rockefeller. Met Jay-Z later on, became, you know, came a big buddy, little homie, big buddy, whatever the fuck, all right? You don't see nobody from Rockefeller yet. We the best. Another nigga that did not fucking like Jay-Z, Fat Joe. Another nigga that did not like Jay-Z. And I know we forgive and forget and all this other bullshit, right? But just pay attention. Nobody from Rockefeller. This nigga is not Memphis Bleak. He is not Beanie Siegel. Okay? Let's just keep moving. Look at the crowd. Angie Martinez, of course she's going to be there. I don't know who this nigga is with the shades. Dre of Cool and Dre, I guess. Once again, this thing ain't got shit to do with Rockefeller. Angie, yeah, she should be there because she did all the radio interviews and things like that, and she was one of Jay's bitches, allegedly. <laughs> Miguel, I don't know what this this hair do is looking very satanic, but uh, once again, he has nothing to do with Rockefeller, nothing. I don't even think this nigga ever did a song with Jay Z. Yo, what you, I didn't hear you. How convenient he got the checkerboard on the back of his phone. We know what time that is, right? That's a whole other story for y'all that don't know. Now, Clark Kent, he definitely should be there. You know what I'm saying? He Now, he's he's about the only person so far that we've seen that it makes sense, right? But look at all the, the stuff in the background. You see all the clips of Jay-Z in the background and shit? Ain't no pictures with Dame, no joints with Biggs. This nigga's foul, bro. A book of lies. He just did it all by itself. Charlemagne definitely should be there for fucking turning on me for this suck ass nigga. Who is this chick? Here? Is that Charlemagne's wife? I know she can't have got that light. Well, he got light. I don't know. I don't know who this chick is. That might be Quest Love chick. 
she more closer to him. I'm not sure. But anyway, of course, this nigga is going to be there. All Jay-Z nut huggers is going to be there, okay? And, and Charlemagne is is in top five dead alive Jay-Z nut huggers. Thank you. So they remade Baseline Studios over. I've been in the real Baseline. Not no made up shit. <laughs> Right here, home. Blaze, Blaze, Blaze. Now, Just Blaze is there. Him and Clark Kent so far are the only two people that are real Rockefeller people. Fat Joe's in here. For what reason? Oh, he just made up with Jay-Z not too long ago. Oh, yeah. right One more time. Thank you. Of course, Big Daddy Kane should be there. He's one of Jay Z's early contributors, helped Jay Z early. Right? But of course, you know, Ye not here. This nigga right here, I do not like this dude, Michael Dyson or whatever it is. This nigga is a, a nigga that wanted to be a rapper so bad and failed. So he just say all Tupac shit. That is not the rock. Man. That is the Illuminati. Jay Z never sold ten million to throw up the fucking diamond. That nigga was. That's the all C and I. God damn it. These niggas don't even know what the hell they throwing up. It ain't the rock. That is Lucifer's children, right there. You're throwing it up and show allegiance. God damn it. That is not no motherfucking rock. We are enlightened now. Hello. Hello. We're not stupid. That is not the rock. Jay-Z never sold 10 million records to be throwing up a diamond. We know what it means now. Stop lying. Excuse me, miss. I don't know who these ladies are. Who is that? That's Emily, right? That's fab baby mother right there. And we know who else is in the building, but I'm, I ain't gonna even go there. The guys that almost got me killed on their podcast. Scott Mills, Mark Hen. There's the, the new nigga that run BT. He took Stephen Hill's spot, Scott Mills. He was there when I was there too. He was there when I was there, too. Scott Mills know what time it is, but I'm going to leave him alone because he, he ain't a creep like the rest of them. I'm going to leave him alone. Ta-ta, Rich. These niggas ain't Rockefeller. These niggas is not Rockefeller. I'm sorry. Y'all niggas ain't Rockefeller. Where's Beanie Siegel? Where's Freeway? Who are you niggas? I go to the earlier, the earlier essence. Now look at all these pictures on the wall, y'all. Look at all these pictures on the wall, y'all. 
No pitches of Dane. No pitches of Biggs. No pitches of Beanie Siegel. This thing is a sucker, bro. Uh, Look at this shit. He even got the nerve to have Michael Rubin ass on the wall. This nigga got the Michael Rubin crack ass up there on the wall already, bro. Like, nigga. Kanye and Gabe. Beyonce. That's him and Fat Joe. Him and Foxy. You telling me all, all, all the motherfucking Rockefeller artists that was on Rockefeller and all these pictures, you don't see none of these niggas? This nigga's a fucking sucker, brother. Selfish ass nigga. Look at this shit. Look at this selfish ass nigga. I don't think you're going to see any dipset niggas on that wall. <laughs> Who are these people, yo? There go your man Wedge again. Your man DJ Colorbeard. And the whole sellout crew. That's Mike Kaiser on the left in the white suit. <laughs> Kaiser that came up. That nigga went from cornball to everybody sucking him off now. Look at this shit. These are all the niggas that helped Jay-Z snake Dame Dash. Right there. The two on the end. Right here, my this nigga said I'm with the legend right here. If Emory's a fucking legend, so is D Haven, nigga. Y'all might as well start calling D Haven a legend. What the fuck make Emory a legend, brother? Jail time? This thing is a legend because he did fucking 13 years in jail. What the fuck he do to make him a legend? What did he do to make him a legend? He Jay-Z friend, that make him a legend? Yo, y'all niggas throw the word legend around for niggas that ain't did shit. Niggas sold drugs to the community. That make him a legend? Get the fuck out of here. Shout out to the guard, Rock Kim. One I got an invoice for that one. Shout out Judge Blaze. He the only producer up in there. There's a whole bunch of other producers that we should be seeing. This shit is some bullshit right here. The book of bullshit. The guard MC. I was only a few times away from in Brentwood, Long Island. With. Yeah, man. Why did well, I, from Brooklyn, I went to Long Island. Yeah, man. But I was a big, I was a big fan of the 18th letter way before. So, can you do me a favor? Can you drop the rock for me? Go for rock. The hand sign. Yeah. Both of y'all. Yep, just like that. Bring it down a little. Bring it down a little. Thank you. Thank you. This 
nigga, Lil Uzi, why this nigga got a rock chain? Fuck he do to get a rock chain. This nigga wasn't even born. Yo, Jay, send my chain, nigga. You giving these nondescript niggas chain? Send my chain, nigga, and all my plaques. Fuck out of here. Thank you. Who is all these people? Michael Rubin? Michael Rubin's already at the in Jay Z circle like this. Look at this bullshit, yo. Look at this bullshit. Where's Beanie Siegel? Thank you. Little, little satanic ass, Luciferian ass, devil worshiping ass nigga right here. Let me make sure I look at you. Thank you, Uzi. Let me see some of your red ball real quick. So hold on. Thank you. Hold on. Hold on. Thank you. This nigga here, fucking guru. He the only him, Clark Kent, just blaze. That's it. Kaiser too. Kaiser belong in there too. Steve Stout snake ass belong in there too. But those five is about it, brother. Unless there's some people here that ain't that ain't getting no camera love. Like after cassettes, we would go to this, and he was gonna let you get a whole bunch of music. Guru, uh, uh, can I get you to throw up the rock? One shot. Johnny knew that. That's what it is, my brother. One more time. My brother. Love you, brother. Respect. This is my daughter. What? She's my oldest. Hi. Beautiful, man. 27. I thought you was a baby. Johnny Nunez is like photographer to the celebrities. He shot everybody. He has all the classic photos from like 90s on. <laughs> who, who a ho? Who a ho would be? He got us in the tunnel. Yeah. He yeah. No, he don't got you in the fucking tunnel, nigga. That's me, motherfucker. That would be me, motherfucker. He was not in no fucking tunnel, nigga. That would be me, you lying motherfucker. That would be me. Fuck out of here. Lying and shit. That would be me, nigga. to the celebrities he shot everybody he has all the classic photos from like 90s on <laughs> and i got all the classes footage from 90s on okay this nigga said capping photos from like 90s on <laughs> who, 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 who a ho would be he got us in the tunnel yeah oh, yeah man <laughs> You to honor your your father's a star, man. And he's a quiet star because he doesn't really try to be like, look at me. He's always in the back, like, yo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I hit it on the head. Yeah, man. Well, let me get the two. Of yeah, you. and I've been doing it 28 years, nigga. I've been doing it 28 years. Fuck out of here. Suck ass niggas. Book of bullshit. That shit was a bunch of book of bullshit. Ain't nobody from Rockefeller in that motherfucker. And why he had to make it by himself? 50 years of anniversary. I mean, 50 years of hip hop. You couldn't do a Rockefeller exhibit? Why? Because ain't nobody fucking with you no more. You nappy headed nigga with your nappy wig. Ain't nobody as lonely at the top, huh? You done shitted on everybody. 
It's lonely. Nobody there. Wouldn't it be nice to have state property there? I ain't even see fucking bleak. I ain't even see bleak. Rail, nobody, bro. I ain't even see bigs. Fucking chia pet afro ass nigga. Ch-ch-ch-ch-chia. Ch-ch-ch-ch-chia. He said, Sideshow Bob Wig. This nigga's a sucker, bro. Book of Hove. You don't see no pictures of nobody that helped him. All the shit that he done stole from niggas, hooks, lines, concepts, and all that shit. You go do a Book of Hove shit for the 50th anniversary of hip hop, and you don't come sit there and celebrate. None of the artists or none of the niggas that helped you? Let me see you out, nigga. I'm going to run by and snatch that wig off your head. God damn it. And auction that bitch for some bud. <laughs> Fucking this nigga, man. Selfish ass nigga. He going to put this whole big event together for himself, and knowing that the Grammys, BT, nobody's honoring a Rockefeller because of you, you fucking suck ass nigga. Niggas can't perform because they don't want to be. They don't want to get you upset because they open the stage up to Beans and Chris and all of them. This thing is a sucker, a fucking book of hove, selfish ass nigga. This nigga's a selfish ass nigga. Ain't nobody he came up with was there. Just all the dick lickers. Ain't nobody was there but a bunch of dick lickers outside of Clark Kent and Just Blaze. This nigga's a sucker, bro. That nigga's a sucker. He took that whole museum and did a so whole shit for himself. That nigga tried to put a Rockefeller reunion together. Y'all niggas better hit that nigga in the pockets. Everybody better be like, they better get a hundred grand a night each. Fuck out of here. Goddamn jigaboo.